disease and obesity um, and because a lot of people don't think it actually happens but I want to shed light on the subject that it actually does. A lot of people with celiac disease, people view celiac disease as people being very underweight because of being malnourished and it's very true a lot of um, a typical celiac as um, noted in a certain study is a female, a classic celiac, excuse me, classic um, celiac is a female with severe villus atrophy um, and has a low BMI, which is a body mass index. Um, but we have found recently that you don't necessarily have to have a low BMI to be presenting with celiac. You can actually be obese. And here are a few of the reasons why. And a lot of doctors are saying, telling people who are obese that there's no way they could have celiac because they're, they couldn't be malnourished. But I'm going to give you some pointers um, that I found through my research. Um, it's been known for years that obesity, obesity has been linked to thyroid problems and that the thyroid produces five mono Diodinase, this is not my calling, I'm really sorry. Um, the body's natural method of conserving fuel during shortage. And the body elicits the same physical reaction as famine, which can then cause a, the affected person to gain weight. So basically, when a person is um, experiencing severe um, malnutrition, like in celiac disease, you can actually go into this kind of state where you your body thinks you're experiencing a famine and you you hold on to your weight and you gain the weight another um, one another point in this article is with celiac disease the body is unable to absorb necessary nutrients which causes some people's bodies to become a super efficient machine that begins storing as much fat as possible to survive this nutrient deficiency um, convinces the body that it's starving to death which sends it into starvation mode since humans need a certain percentage of body fat reserves to stay alive and because it takes more work for the body to burn fat than carbohydrates, a body that is in starvation mode tends to crave carbohydrates and more efficiently convert them to fat for usage later. Um, and then also, there was a recent study that just came out in 2010 um, on celiac.com and just a brief overview of it was it was um, spanning um, 369 patients proven through biopsy, uh, proven to have celiac disease through biopsy, and it spanned from 1981 to 2007. And men and women were evaluated for their um, BMI again, which is the body mass, mass index. And they found that celiac females that tested with a normal or low BMI were also found to have higher rates of critical villus atrophy than those with a higher BMI. However, more males with celiac were found to be overweight compared to the general population. Um, so also after initiating a gluten-free diet, most BMI changes were shown to be directly associated with an initial baseline appearance of classic symptoms. Again, classical symptoms, which means that um, lower BMI, um, lower weight, severe villus atrophy, while on a gluten-free diet, over 50% of the overweight and obese patients lost weight, and the group who initially had a low BMI, which was 42.4%, gained a normal weight. Um, so basically, this just says that if you are obese or someone in, you know, family friend, um, a family member or friend is obese and thinks they might have celiac disease, don't let your doctor, don't let their doctor say, no, you're overweight, you can't have celiac disease because there are plenty of reasons why you are, the malnutrition from celiac is making them obese. So just something to think on, a uh, new, little, new little thought to put in your brain and mull over. So I hope everyone's doing well out there. As always, it's from have not to have and gluten-free dining. Thank you so much for watching.